Hi, Internet friends. This is Tim Schrock at Design Build Solutions. On today's Tech Tip Tuesday, I want to talk about CAD blocks and insertion points. I'm working in Chief Architect Premier X15. Let's get started. Hey, I haven't done much self-promotion lately on these Tech Tip Tuesday videos, but if you like this information, would you please consider, uh, especially hit like and subscribe down there, but would you also consider uh, supporting me in the time that it takes to produce these videos and upload them and the education that you receive? You can send me a small donation with paypal.me slash design build solutions. Thanks so much for thinking of that. Now, what got me started in this was uh, these, I have several blocks that I've created that help me set up um, sections, views of a foundation. And this foundation anchor was one of those. Whenever I drop this foundation anchor into the um, plan right here, it picks the center of that block as the insertion point. That's where the, ma the mouse is going to go right whenever I drop that. And I'm like, why do I have to drop it and then adjust it when I could just drop it maybe and have that insertion point end up right here? And that means I would just drop it right on that sill plate. Well, you can do that. And we've been able to set insertion points in past versions. I checked all the way back to X12. Um, select this uh, select this block and right down here you can create an insertion point for the block and you can put that insertion point wherever you'd like if we zoom in on this block I could drop it right there and now whenever I move it that is the insertion point of the block but since the advent of X14 and now X15, uh, we have the opportunity to edit the CAD block. And we can edit the block within the library itself. So I don't have to like delete that object and then create the block and reinsert it back into the library, etc. So I'm just going to show you how we can do this from the library itself. I'm going to right click on my custom library object and I'm going to edit the CAD block. If I go into CAD, CAD blocks, I can add an insertion point right here. And there's my insertion point. Close this window, save that CAD block. Yes, I sure do want to drop that, save that. Now when I click on my foundation anchor and drop that block right here on top of my sill plate, there it is ready to go and I can also mirror that let's mirror that about here I guess that's uh, where I'm gonna go I'm gonna just point to point move and drop it over there and there's my there's my CAD block with an insertion point quick and easy tip but it's something that um, I haven't done I haven't updated. I've used this block for a long time and I just haven't updated it. So now I have. Thanks for following along. If you like this information, as I mentioned before, click like and subscribe right down there. Hit the notification bell so you get notified each week as I drop these videos. Take care. Have a great week.